All right, what is going on, guys? It's D3 Gaming here. Um, something very special for you guys. We're going to be playing Mafia 2. Um, it's one of our favorite games. Yeah, especially with Mafia 3 coming out this fall. Uh, it's going to be really exciting to play through. Definitely one of my favorite games. I've played through the missions two, three, maybe four times on some of them. So really like playing through these. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times we've played this game probably too many times yeah honestly really we would just start up a mission and then we'd run around and kill people and drive the cars and listen to the good music well the game first came out as a demo on the ps3 and we played that non-stop oh man those were the good old days i mean they had the demo on the 360 and it was different it was I, I think the 360 game plays different. Huh. Need a new game. New game? Alright. Shmedium. You sure? Shmedium. Sh sh erase everything. Oh, yeah. Just just okay. erase everything. Alright. I mean, we're going to be playing through it again, so it doesn't really matter, but I was just double checking. It doesn't erase everything. You can still go back and open up whatever mission just you want. Just said that. Yes, you can. Oh, you... Oh, really? I, I just read it. I mean, I didn't read all of it. I just looked at it, but... <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be the game that we're playing until Mafia 3 comes out, and it's just a little build-up to that game. Because I'm pretty sure Vito, who's the main character in this, is in the third he's, one. Yeah, he's, he's the main character in the third one. One of the Well, he's not like ones. the main character. That's... The black dude, I forget his name. Lincoln. Lincoln. Cutscenes in this game are very dramatic. My name is Vito Scaletta. This game is trying to be with you all this. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca. I think one of the weirdest parts about this whole house. game is that there's I don't really remember adults everywhere, and if you're by the buildings, up. you can hear, you babies, hear babies crying. crying but there's no kids and there's nothing. Just adults. Yep. I mean that's probably a good thing, so people aren't like running them over or nothing. Cause that'd be weird. But this is weird. You can hear them, but you never see them. Away from Sicily. It's really the only time you see kids in the whole game. Yeah, just be a new life in America. It's never in my life that I've seen anything. As fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I've never seen anything filthy and more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American dream was more like a nightmare. Little Vito does not look proportionate at all. Really a little Oompa Loompa <laughs> hobbling around. Hey, bear with them. <laughs> Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor, How'd that and cop not hear the there? glass break? Shit. We started a little business of our own. Hmm. Freeze! Police! Stop! Because he's deaf. Vito, this way. Oh no, I guess. No, 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 not the whistle. The whistle. <laughs> Stop! Shit. Okay, I don't think he'd shoot. Spread your lights. Fuck. Put the hands on the... I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. 
and the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18, and anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Very, very cinematic. <laughs> oh yeah, this game is beautiful. The artwork, Operation the... Rescue. I was assigned to the 504th parish. The visuals. The 11th of July, we were supposed to be the just going to the gas running through. We got hit by flat. <laughs> Shhh. Nothing yopper. Only three of us made it. Isn't there an achievement for Wasn't getting... The local resistance, we would have had a chance. Right. Six headshots in a row, and you can do it here or something like that. This is the mission you have to do it on. It's all those guards standing on the steps. I remember I, I glitched the game last time I was playing it on this level. If you throw a grenade by the minigun before it tells you to, it just freaks out and won't let you go past it anymore. This game is great and all, but there's a lot of, I don't want to say game breaking glitches, but there's some bugs. exploits. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's some real fun, like, flipping cars and flying through the air. Type of glitches, but... Yeah, right here. Pretty sure you can manage to shoot the guy on the mini gun. But I don't think it will let you die here, though. No, it will. I died here plenty of times. Don't worry, you just go climb to the window. I just wanted to be before you. But yeah, like right up here in this spot, if you stand. Back and like launch a grenade. It just freaks out the whole hand. I think you showed me. And they're just fucking you up. Yeah, it wants you to throw a grenade right here, but you stand over and launch a grenade. It freaks out the whole thing. Landed it right on them other nades, huh? <laughs> You got where I was going with that. I'm picking up what you're setting down. Oh man. And you're picking up every fucking gun they have over there. Oh yeah. I'm on the stairs, thanks. Good to see you. Sign me up for phase, look at this. Oh, I killed him. Must have the prisoners upstairs. Okay. 360 nuts, the second floor. Kill. Skeleta, you, take you, you hit him with the feeds. Oh, oh, 360. Oh, God. Oh, mistakes were made. Who clicked it? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, you thought you're saltating. Oh, shit. Damn it. I think I hate no fire if I miss a good shot. Oh, they still died anyway. They have none of you. Looks like we're going this way. We go here? Alright. <laughs> It'd be a fun game to get some, uh, gameplay to it. Yeah. Do you remember that American Sniper Elite game or whatever? Game's terrible. The game is terrible, but the fact that whenever you shot someone, it would do that really cool x-ray thing. Oh, you want to add that into this game? That was fun. You just gotta hop on that MG and tear up the town. Chopper.
You're gonna have to shoot the tank in the truck. I'm about to die. What the hell? I don't know if you can die on this part. Because I'm pretty certain that's part of it, is that you almost die. Are you gonna shoot people or what? Because they're all on the left side. Tell me why you can't just pull that MG up off the thing and fire it. No, no that's the nice guy. God. Oh god. Oh he did. Bitch, I hope. Just play that. He's just sleeping, guys. Come on. It's really this dude that looks like fucking Stanley. <laughs> What's the George, George J. Romero? <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. Combination of Stanley and George Romero. <laughs> He's coming to just save everybody. <laughs> Don Calo, the head of the Sicilian mob. Don Calo. The entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Gave yeah, everyone Why? spaghetti and meatballs. Gave everybody the spaghetti and the meatballs. Oh god. <laughs> this whole gameplay, this whole playthrough is gonna have terrible Italian accents, I can call it. What are you talking about, Italian? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You know anything, huh? Huh, Tony? Hey, capisce. Hey, capisce, Tony, you understand? <laughs> Scramoli. Fettuccini. <laughs> oh god, all I can think of is that uh, Eminem song where they replace everything with spaghetti now. <laughs> Knees weak, arm spaghetti. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna end it here at uh, the beginning of chapter two. Um, you'll get to see what, the next episode. what's going on with Vito once he gets home.